Hello and welcome to Gardening at 58 North. In this video I'd like to give you an update on my two plants here. So I've got my Adenium here and I've got my Poinsettia as well. So first of all I'll start with my Adenium plant. So you can see here it's got lots of new leaves, it's looking quite healthy. So this came out of dormancy only a few months ago and you can tell that by where well, you can see there's not a lot of leaves on it. It's mainly just stems and the new growth that has come through you can see hasn't put any stems on yet, it's just put on the leaves, it hasn't started to grow any stems, so that's the reason, as you can see it hasn't grown a lot. There's some here which have grown a bit more, but still no stem growth, just leaves. It did actually grow a lot of flower buds, you can see there's, there's one here just about to fall off actually. I can get that in focus for you. And you can see that one's just falling off. Now it did, it did put on a lot of flower buds, I was worried it was going to do what it did last year. Last year, I bought it for the first time last year, and it had loads and loads of flowers, did nothing but a flower, and lost all its leaves and almost flowered itself to death. It didn't put any stem growth on, it only had flowers. And at the beginning of this year, all the, all the new growth was looking more like this. There, wasn't, there was some with just leaves, but a lot of it had a lot of flower buds like that, so I was starting to get a bit worried about what was happening. But um, I'm kind of happy the flowers are falling off, because I know it's going to put more growth into leaves. And it will be nice for it to flower later on because I do enjoy the flowers but um, for now I just want it to put on lots of leaves and get a bit of growth because I'd like to give it a really big fat cordex and it won't get a big fat cordex unless it starts growing a bit more and bulking itself up instead of putting its energy into the flowers I want it to put its energy into new stems and fattening up the cordex. So the cordex that it came with is pretty bad to be honest, it's barely fat at all, you can see it's just slightly wider than the rest of the plant. Also came with a very curved root there, so it's always been root bound in the past. But apart from that, the new new growth is quite happy and healthy. You can see it's green and lush. Previously, when I had this plant, the leaves started going quite brown in the end, and the leaves were dropping off a lot. So I don't know why that was. Um, this one here, you can actually see there is a little bit of stem growth on that shoot already, which is good. It's only about a centimeter or two, but at least it's something. So it's doing well. I'm quite happy with it. Um, I might repot it later on this year if it grows quite a bit, but otherwise I'll keep it in the same pot because I think it's okay in a in a smaller pot at the moment. So that's it for now with the, the um, Adenium. As I said, I, I did grow it once in Taiwan and it grew about 20-30 centimetres in, in about three months. Grew a lot of height, it really grew really well. That was in the tropics. I was there in the midsummer as well. It was a particularly hot year, it was 38 degrees in the day. And in, in, in Taipei City, it doesn't even get below 30 at night, to be honest. Even at night time, it was 30. So I was really baking in the heat. Whereas this one, it's about 22 degrees constantly in my flat at the moment. So it's a lot cooler, but we'll see how it does. So the next plant here is my poinsettia. You can see it's got lots of nice new growth. It was originally quite a lot taller. I did a video a few months ago where I cut it back really hard to encourage lots of lost new growth. And that's happened quite well. I was hoping for larger leaves, the leaves are a bit small coming back, but they're not too bad. I can just show you underneath here, you can see all the new growth, so you can see for example I cut it there, and it's got that new shoot on it. And I did actually leave two branches, I left this branch here, and I left that one there unpruned as well, because I thought they were about the right height. And actually the new, the new growth has actually reached the same height as the older growth, so it works really well. I was worried I might have to cut them off as well if they weren't growing at the same speed, but they are. So I was actually hoping for less branches, but larger, stronger branches with bigger leaves, but it's come out really small again, which is a bit of a shame. Maybe I should have cut it back even harder to encourage less branches. You can see here, for example, there's the shoot there. It's got a branch at the top, but it's also got a branch lower down. And often when you prune, you get more branches. So this one here, you've got one branch there, one branch there. So I'll just see how it goes. I'll leave it grow a bit longer. Um, so I've got it on a baby bio feed at the moment, which is fairly high in nitrogen, but it's a balanced meat, balance, mostly balanced feed, it's, but slightly higher than nitrogen. So it should be putting a lot of lush growth on, hopefully getting some nice big leaves. And then when it comes later in the year, then I'll start doing a high potassium feed. And I have to be careful with the daylight hours that it gets. But because it's on a windowsill and I, we don't really use that room, just with the nights getting shorter in autumn, it should turn red again for Christmas. So it worked well last year, and you can see a few of the old leaves are still red. And even some of the, the, old, the leaves that came on not that long ago are kind of cross between red and green, almost black. 
But all the latest growth you can see there is, is bright green. So it's doing well. I have to keep feeding it. The pot size is about right at the moment, but I may have to repot it because it's been in that pot for about two years now. And it was, as I say, about four times the size originally. So it's been well used, that compost. But that's, that's all for now with the Potisetti and the Adenium. So I'll keep you guys updated as to how, to do, how they do. And hopefully they'll put on a lot of strong growth now that it's warm and it's summer again.